guys. I'm Mike. And Stephanie. And we're Van Life Sheldon's Travels. Sheldon, he's our little yellow belly slider turtle. You might be able to see over my shoulder his little pin in the background. This morning, we are here at the Itchnatucky Springs Campground, and we're safe and sound. This video is going to be of a, a little bit of when we heard... Uh, we had left New Orleans and left Mardi Gras and was kind of going over towards the coast. We were just going to hang out for like a week on the beach and then head back over towards uh, Mar uh, New Orleans to go to their St. Patty's Day parade and all that stuff. But we heard about the coronavirus and we didn't want to do any of that. So we decided we... We were right there on the beach hanging out and all this, and we were like, nope, we need to get out of here and go somewhere and just relax for a couple of weeks. So we headed up to the uh, DeSoto National, National Forest. Forest up uh, just north of Biloxi, Mississippi, yeah. and kind of we went to a, a place called a POW. It was a POW camp for the German uh for the German uh, POWs during World War II. So we went there, and that's what this video is going to be about. We were here for almost two weeks after we left um, Biloxi and the beach and everything yeah. before we traveled out of Mississippi. So we yeah. kind of hung out at the POW camp there for two weeks, and then you saw we started making our way to Florida here to get to the edge of Tuckney Springs campground yeah, which is they closed the national forest down when we were actually at the pow w camp, camp and, and the rangers came and all that and, yep, and, and you and saw that video that yep. video we made and so. that's actually when we started headed here to itchatuckney springs campground where we've been for the about three weeks now well yeah we've been here three weeks and it took us a couple days to get here so mm -hmm. you know it's been a little while since Mardi Gras, almost two months now. So, but this is where we stayed almost two weeks before we headed here to Ishtucky Springs. So, I hope you enjoy this video, and uh, I think it's a cool spot. I hope you do too. Well, That's guys, fun. we are right here outside of Biloxi, Mississippi, at the uh, Cracker Barrel. Uh, we just came in. We just went inside and had a good breakfast this morning. We spent the night right here. It was really nice after being at the beach and everything. We took a shower at the Anytime Fitness and hopped right over here. Spent the night, went in and got a little breakfast. We've stocked up a little bit. You know, guys, we're a little behind on our videos, about a week and a half. So, But we've stocked up a little bit, but we need a few more things. So we're going to stop at the store, get a couple more things, and then we're going to start heading out of town and kind of quarantine ourselves from this event that's happening. I don't want to say its name, but uh, we're, we're just going to... I found us a campsite that was free, seven, eight day free stay. It's National Forest land, so as long as they don't close the National Forest, we'll be fine. And it's called, it's an old POW, German uh, POW camp during World War II. So let's go there and um, see if we can't do some hiking and some exploring there and just take a break from everything and all the people and try not to get sick guys because we've been feeling really good and we don't want to take any chances around being a lot of, around a lot of people oh look at the big helicopter turn your right wow check that out shout out to one of our buddies ken's that works on helicopter parts but yeah so i think we're gonna get out of here call it a day Decided to stop here at the Walmart, like I said, get a few things. It's pretty much out of everything here, but we did get a little bit more supplies. I think we'll be fine, but I saw something outside after we loaded the van up with our stuff. I just wanted to show you. Isn't that the cutest thing ever? A turtle sandbox. Sheldon could swim in that and play. Wouldn't that be so cool if we could carry that with us? But way too big 
maybe one day if we have a camp hosting gig or a, or we do a homestead, we. the old bunkers, ammunition bunkers. We'll come back and show you those later. Schoolie. you just pick a spot and that's that Here's the you have arrived found a nice spot it's nice and quiet here right on the lake yeah let's go check out the little uh little stand up here and make sure we don't need to do anything definitely just check out the area and see what it has to offer just one of the things Mike and I like to do when we get to a new campground is just walk around and check out who all else is here and you know definitely check in the check-in process and see what you have to do to be there and how just, long you could stay. Just to make sure you know you didn't park in the wrong spot or yeah you never know there might be a better spot. <coughs> no horses allowed pack it in pack it out. Well, we made it up here to the little little information kiosk place up here the little thing there's no one here to check you in or anything you pretty much pick a spot it's national forest yep. you can stay here seven days Definitely. so that works guys we'll probably stay here for six seven days and just yeah. relax so all right we found a good little spot yeah, it's definitely nice by the water. There's actually families out there right now on boats, kayaking, and swimming out there. So it's a fun little spot and things to do around here. We're going to head back to the van now that we know we're good for seven days and kind of get all, all situated. And we'll get back at you when we get done. Yeah, we'll uh, set up.
Well, Steph spotted a big ant hill. At least we're not sitting on one of those. You gotta be careful you don't park on a big ant field. They don't look like that at Walmart. <laughs> oh, got mud all over them. Yeah. That's what you need. Yeah, some Mississippi mud. Mississippi mud. Wow. Right here on the lake, guys. Well, like I said, we'll get situated and then we'll get back to you in a little bit. There's a nice couple right here. They got a little stuck, so help them turn around in their RV. Cute little RV. That's nice. Very nice. A couple of the kids here have some pretty neat toys. Yeah, how are you? Family coming in off the lake. Oh, wow. Check him out. Oh. We got camp all nice and set up, and as soon as we got down the chairs, there was a lady and her granddaughter who had a cute little RV, and they were having trouble getting out of these ruts right here, so uh, she asked Mike if he would help her, and he's like, sure, I'll help you, and then after he helped her, she realized, hey, you're being like Sheldon's Travels, I watch you, so... That's pretty awesome. You just never know who you're going to run into or where. And we just love meeting subscribers. Check Sheldon out over here. Yeah, let's go see what Sheldon's doing. Look oh, you can see him in the front door. <laughs> this is why I kind of always try to put something right there for him so he can look out because he's very curious. Say hi, Sheldon. Well, I got Sheldon's pen all set up, some water from down by the lake there, and got his little basket and all his favorite little things, his little tunnel back there. Turtles love to hide, so we always try to make a couple of hiding spots for him, but he does love sunbathing too. Well, Steph made a little dinner. It looks delish. Some fish. Yeah, we got some white fish with the pineapple habanero sauce that we got in Key West. That's really good. And then a little pasta salad on the side there. Alright guys, we're going to enjoy a little night watching our shows. Sun's going down. Eat some dinner, enjoy ourselves. Till tomorrow, we'll show you around the campsite and everything. Till then, please like, comment, and subscribe. Check us out on Facebook and Patreon. Hit the bell for more notifications. And we'll see you in the next one. Have a good night.